everybody, it's Rosemary Jane, and I have another quick Your Questions Answered. I just answered this question with Dr. Kimberly McLean, and we recorded it to share with you, but it was nine minutes long, and you know I like to keep these under five minutes. So here we go. Your Bitmoji Classroom as a course banner image in under five minutes. So this is what Kimberly worked on when we um, got ours done together. You may have seen some samples of mine um, as from my P, um, my PD, virtual PD that I did on the Bitmoji Classroom um, as your home base in Schoology. Um, I've also shared Clarissa's from SCPA. That's as a banner image. And so let's get to how to do it. Well, if you've created your Bitmoji Classroom already, you've got the file ready to go. Here's what you're going to do. I recommend that you have it in its own folder inside of your Google Drive. So I've got a folder that I named my Bitmoji Classroom. And then I am going to take this file. I already had it open. Um, and I'm going to download it as both a PDF and a PNG. So normally I only have to do the PDF. I'll get to why in a moment. Just download as PDF, then download as PNG or JPEG, but I, I always do PNG. All right, I've got my two file types. Now in my folder, they're on my computer. I wanna get them in my Google Drive folder. So I'm gonna actually immediately re-upload them. I want the PDF, I want the photo, the PNG. Those are uploading in here. And then as soon as those populate, I'm going to grab that PDF link. Make sure that your link sharing is set to anyone with link can view. If it's not, you'll have to manually change that, but I want mine on anyone with link can view. And now let's see how to make that be my course banner image in one of my courses that doesn't have a Bitmoji yet. All right, so this is one of my practice courses. I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a page and I'm gonna call it Updates Not Published. And I usually do not publish those. So I will display it inline so it shows for me, but it's not gonna show for anybody else. All right, on a page, if you have a message to write to your class, go ahead and write that. Play around with your fonts, make them bold or use a heading. Make your message, but the main thing is getting that image inserted. So insert content, image media. And we're actually going to grab that file of the picture that we downloaded. So here it is. My PNG file is uploading. That extra white space Schoology puts, I delete that and resize my image so it fits pretty much within this frame. Now, when it is blue and selected, I can add a link to it. So I'm just going back here grabbing that PDF link and pasting it. I already know some of you have paused my video a couple times by now. All right, now it is linked. So now I'm just going to copy my message with the image from my page. I'll quickly hit create there so I have it, so I don't lose my work. And then I'm gonna go to updates. and I'm going to just paste that update. There it is. I can have a image there if I, or a message there if I want. If I don't, I can just go straight to the image. Now, to get it to be a banner in your course materials, you just make it an announcement. Click the little bell and hit post. Then in your course, the next time your students log in from um, a computer, they will have your Bitmoji image as the course banner. So you can see that you can use that there. And then it can take you straight into other activities that you have linked in your Bitmoji classroom. Oh, and actually I linked mine to a PDF. Sorry, because we are currently having problems with our Google uh, resource drive app, it's not working. So my Bitmoji classroom here that went straight to my reading course, that was my PDF was embedded right away. I had to show you guys the way to do it with an image first and ignore that. Um, but anyway, so the previous way that I showed in my PD session will work after they fix whatever's wrong with our Google Drive resource app. But in the meantime, until that works, just link the PDF. Your kids and your uh, families will have one extra late, uh, click because they'll have to go to that PDF, but it'll be accessible across more devices. Now, keep in mind, if it's for your very young students or students on an iPad, these um, images and updates don't show up on the iPad uh, app. And course banner images don't show up on the iPad app. So if you wanna make a really great visual experience, make sure you have your little ones badge into Clever and then launch Schoology from within Clever so that they can go to 